And we are looking at fairly quiet weather all around the area for us, but it's cool. We have 49 degrees way up there in Franklin, 51 from Clarion, 50 in Dubois. You get into the mid 50s by the time you get into Pittsburgh. Temperatures still touching 60 from Connellsville to Morgantown, but I think everyone's going to start to see these temperatures settle down into the 40s by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. 55 in Pittsburgh, winds of the north at 15. Those winds will slowly back up, but it's going to be pretty breezy tonight. Once our temperatures touch down into to the 40s, you're going to start to notice the wind chill associated with the cooler temperatures that we have. And we are expecting to dip down into the mid 40s by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. So it's going to be a chilly start at the bus stop, and it's going to take some time for those temperatures to actually build up to our highs in the mid 60s, which really isn't expected to happen until about four or five o'clock. So keep in mind, it's going to be chilly all day long. Now, there has been some very nasty weather in Kansas, in Missouri, in Oklahoma, in Texas, and this is that line of thunderstorms and uh, uh, tornado reports that we've seen from earlier today. These dark red boxes are all flash flood warnings from the intense rain. The orange boxes are severe thunderstorm warnings, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six or seven tornado warnings still on the board at this hour from that particular line of storms. Now that is lifting towards us, but it's not going to have all the same properties that it has right now. So we're not looking for any outbreaks here in the next several days, but we are going to see some showers and storms as we roll through the week. High pressure though is going to keep us pretty quiet for tonight, pretty quiet for tomorrow and most of Wednesday. And then we're going to start to see some showers and thunderstorms moving in. And even on Wednesday, at that point, we are not anticipating severe weather at this point in our area. Now we have some clouds still outside, but overall we're going to call it a partly cloudy night. Then into the day tomorrow, we're going to get our highs into the mid 60s. That's as warm as it gets. But to be honest with you, this is the coolest setup we have for the whole entire forecast. We're going to click back into summer mode before you know it. Partly cloudy and cool temperatures mid to upper 60s all around Allegheny County south. Temperatures are going to find themselves into the upper 60s, so a little bit warmer, but still cool for this time of year. Sunshine, clouds mixed in, not a bad day. Those are pretty comfortable temperatures. Mid 60s off to the east, 64 in Somerset, 66 in Indiana, Catanic 65 and 67 in Greensburg. In north of Pittsburgh, temperatures generally in those mid 60s too, from Franklin to Clarion, 64, Newcastle to Butler along Route 422. You're looking at 65 degrees and into Beaver, 66. Now over the next several days, you're going to see those temperatures warming up. Seven 78 degrees for Wednesday and again most of the day dry but as we get later into the afternoon into the evening that's where we see a shower thunderstorm developing showers and thunderstorms stay scattered around on Thursday and during the work week that is probably the soggiest day of them all late Friday we see a few showers trying to develop but I think most of the day is going to be dry there as well 77 degrees and then into the holiday weekend Saturday Sunday and Monday right now look unsettled so showers and thunderstorms look to be scattered around all the way through the holiday weekend. And you can track the storms, the showers, and even the temperatures with the KDK Weather app. It's available for free in your App Store or Google Play. Just search CBS Pittsburgh.